Okay, uh, attune spells. I'm not using this shit, so let's get that out of there. Put crystal weapon in as well as that one. And then put a magical catalyst in this hand. Yeah, big scary guy, I know, I know. You want some love, but you know what? Big scary guys don't need love. Big scary love guys need to learn to love themselves. Then once once big scary guys learn to love themselves, then love will come. Oh, Vendrick. Vendrick, Vendrick, what a fucking underdick. He is a Vendrick dick. do that much extra damage, really. I'm guessing Vendrick is just strong to magic. I need you to come away from the wall, please. The wrong direction! Shit! Shit. I knew it the moment I did it. I knew it the moment I did it that that was not the right direction to swing. <sighs> or to, to roll. Oh, I hate that! Alright, um. Let's rearrange this ever so slightly. Let's put the tune spells. Let's get rid of the spells that I'm not gonna use at all. Um, then I'm going to change my equipment so that that is in my offhand. Actually, like, I'm not even going to bother with his shield at this point. His shield is not going to be particularly useful in this fight. He hits me with his shield and he staggers me instantly. So, I mean, what is the point of a shield in the fight, right? Like, there just, there isn't a point to having a shield in this fight with the amount of poise I have. I guess I could try and do something to up my poise, like wear a ring and then wear Havel's gauntlets, but... Then I'm gonna also have to completely retool my mobility, and... It just, it seems like a bad idea. I'd rather just be able to quickly cast spells with e either of uh... With, uh, without swapping things around. 
Like, with my good staff, instead of, like, a shitty one that I have anyway. I didn't even see him wind up for that. Was I just like not paying any amount of attention? Because I seriously did not see him wind up for that. Wrong direction! Fuck. Okay, well. I got fucking lucky there, is what happened. Okay. Go up. And... That was the wrong direction. I shouldn't have done that. I got lucky again. I'm not doing this two-handed, that's my problem right now. Shit, no! Dude! Come away from the wall! I do not need you over there. was the wrong direction. You were not supposed to roll that way, potato. Fuck. That was almost really fucking bad. That was so close. I finally found my groove. <sighs> Unfortunately, there's also a fire in that groove. A fire that wants to eat my face. Holy fuck! Okay. I almost should take everything but cast light and uh, crystal, like the two magic weapon abilities. Oh. oh god, I'm still alive! That was not fucking expected. Oh, and I should not have rolled that way. Also, I should have used an effigy. Okay, you 
are too close. And I do not like it. Like, you're too close to the wall, I mean. Come on. Over here, please. I thought he didn't have enough stamina to do that. Well, in real it realistically, I should not have survived that long. Like, I shouldn't have. So that was already that was already much better than it should have been. Before I do that, come on. Don't waste a fucking flask. Go back to the bonfire, man. Jesus, Jester, man, you just fucking scared me there. Alright. Once more unto the breach. So close that one time, though. Like, just so close. I shouldn't have left Soul Spear on. I don't even know why I did leave Soul Spear on, to be honest. Like, I'm sitting here thinking, and I'm like, why did I do that? You are not where I need you to be. I need you to be over here. So you're either gonna jump for me, like fucking host of pain or crisscross, or you are gonna. Should actually equip the, those, uh, the herbs it up your stamina regen, like, my stam is not good. Like, I don't have great stam. I, like, I don't need great stam on this build, really, except for this fight. Okay, and roll and cast light, and roll, and roll, and go back to doing this. Okay, and then push you up from behind. Okay. Nope, you are not getting any of this. If you want buns, I got none, hun. Maybe. That was a dumb mistake. I should not have done that. Shit. Shit! And I rolled the wrong way. 
panicked and I rolled the wrong way. That way, not that way. Away from the sword, not across the sword. Away. Cross. Let's get rid of that. Akurasu. Akurasu. I'm getting much better at this fight, though. Like, those are two plausible attempts. I mean, like, everything with Dark Souls 1, it was just about finding the groove in the boss fight. seen him do that bomb attack like three times it must be a very low percent that he does it and i don't even know what it does because he's never hit it hit me with it i'm still seriously wondering what the hell it does At least it's not a bullshit fight. Like, I hate bullshit fights. This is not a bullshit fight. Everything about this feels very fair. It's just hard. much is really like a patience fight though. Like you do something thinking, oh you know, I can maybe squeak in a little bit more damage here. And what do you do? You basically waste the stamina that you need to dodge the next attack. I want you to come across the room, please. Oh, fuck. Did not mean to do that. And I should not be dodging in that direction. Okay, I need you to come across the room, please. Because I need to be able to get behind you. Again, dodging wrong direction. Come on. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. At least now I've gotten to the point where I'm no longer panicking and I can start to enjoy the music that's playing a little bit. Because it is very, very subtle. Every time I look over chat and I see the, like, do the whole game without using a bonfire thing, it just, like, sends minute shivers down my spine. Like, ugh, no. 
No. No. It's like the things of nightmares thinking about that. Okay. so close to the fucking wall is because there's no room to dodge and there's no room to get behind him I meant to get those herbs out of my inventory, didn't I? Okay, I need you to come across the room, please. Come on. I just need you to do like a running fucking jump across the... No, that's not it. That, that'll do. No, no, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. Shit, and that also was the wrong button. And I survived, so I should just be happy that I am not dead right now. I should have rolled just in case. Getting used to my magic being on a different trigger button is, I think, the like the biggest flaw with that last fight. Is I went to go cast spells and I was pressing the wrong trigger button. Or wrong bumper button, I guess. I don't know. Does, does Sony even have like a distinct name for the two? Because I've got DualShock 3, so... But, it's not like the game is configured for a DualShock 3 in, like, this version of it. <sighs> We're gonna get this shit today, though. Done worse things. Some people are just crazy. If, if somebody did this fight with a ladle, again, I reiterate, some people are just crazy. Start spamming the enemy.
Sorry. Sorry for the yelling, but... Woo! That took a lot of focus. I stopped basically looking at my stamina and health bar and just was keeping track mentally of how much stamina and health I had. <laughs> Like, that was the only way. That was the only way I could do that. Let's see, does... does pa I'm assuming past Fendrick doesn't say anything different, but... I, I might as well go talk to him. Before I get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, time to bone this shit and go spend those souls. Or not bones. We don't have bones anymore. We have the aged feather. Oh, that was good. That was really good. That's, like, seriously, I think that's the thing I love the most about this game. Is that... Well, I mean, this game series. Is that, like... Everything has a pattern, and you just have to... <laughs> Man, you guys must think I hate myself a lot more than I actually do. That sounded really fucking depressing. It wasn't supposed to come out like that, and it sounded really depressing. Okay, um, fuck. Um, I could use more stamina. If that fight has shown me anything, it's that I could use more stamina. Um, I don't think I can upgrade the SS flask any further now. And I don't have any other things to burn. Okay. Holy fuck. That was intense. <laughs> Let's put my gear back to the way I had it. Oh, we will. I will be doing some DLC. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to do any right now. I started some of the DLC already, actually. I'm kind of contemplating leaving that there, I think. I'm just swapping. The problem with that is that then... What I'm going to have to do is put the Binox on the other button. So it's just going to take... Like, this is basically going to be me relearning how to play the game in some ways. If I do that, I mean. Um, put those on there. Here, like, let's just remove everything because I want to reorg all of this. Um, third thing, those are what I was thinking of starting to use if I needed them. The the stamina herbs. Okay. And what else do I want on here? Um, I want my substones. Anything else that needs to go in this bar? I guess I'll throw um, some of the bombs on here just so that I have them. And the remaining spaces can be... Oh no, I need my feather. And that would have been really dumb. Because, <sighs> yeah, like, this feels like such a better way to deal with this. So that I can then do that and then do... Uh, Except, she didn't swap weapons as quickly as I thought she would. This is just going to take some getting used to, but I think it's it's what I should have been doing from the beginning, and I wasn't. Okay. So it's literally the only thing left in the game to do to go down from Dranglet Castle. I want to go talk to the guy up in... Like, I want to go talk to the people in the castle that I've talked to previously, because I suspect they're probably going to give me some different information now that I've done some terrible things. Some terrible things. 
if they don't, I mean, like, I know I can go through that door now with the thing I got from the giant, but... Say anything different now that I've murdered Vendrick? Oh, no. Visitor, our guests are treated. Tell me. No, you don't. What the fuck is that homunculus wooden shield? I don't remember him having these things before. Gone so soon. Is there anything up here in the throne room? of it. What's the Throne of Want again? It sounds familiar. Is it one of the DLC areas? It looks like I can go over there, but I don't think I can. Um, the other area where there's someone to talk to is a different bonfire, so... I'm just gonna fall down the hole. Okay, so yeah, it's the the throne of one is the final area. So I hear that it doesn't like if if I use the like if I go to fight what's down there, which I've actually already participated in one of the fights. So I know actually I've participated in two of the fights. So I know there's a pair of knights and the queen down there. Um. Which of these do I want? I think I want forgotten chamber. Um, I heard that it doesn't automatically throw you into New Game Plus, so I might just go do that before doing any DLC. But I want to go talk to the Spectre of the Queen up here first. Royal Sorcerer. I've got this guy to deal with, so you're gonna have to wait for like. Great, I didn't re equip any of my spells. Cool. I didn't know exactly what triggered it, so I was a little paranoid there. I was like, I don't know if I want to go down that corridor or not, but... That's good to know that I only reset at the Medulla Bonfire. Okay. Now, can I speak to you? Oh, she's not even here anymore. Alright, well, there goes that idea. Um, let's re-equip the spells that I took off. I'm going to take that one. Well, no, I'm going to leave that there for now. Put that on. Put that on. Put that on. And then, I guess, just like a standard Great Solero. Okay, so then we want to go to the other castle. Bonfire, the first one, and set down a summon sign, and then head down to open the doors. And then, get where we get. And then I'll do the DLC areas. Like, I don't want to start, I don't want to launch the New Game Plus without doing the DLC. I've already done a little bit of it, so I'll probably return to that area first. Okay, produce 
the symbol of... Seriously, that's what he didn't remember to do when I was here last time? So I was helping... Were you... You might have been here, Saiga. I was helping someone. Um, and he did not know what produced the symbol of the king meant, I guess, or had completely forgotten. Because he ended up leading us up through that way. And I was really confused as to why I was summoned to go that way. Okay, let's go and put that back on. Now. Oh, there you are. My journey is already complete. My name is Shannonot. Shannonot. Gave me this name, for I was born with none. Well, most people aren't born with names. I was born of dragons, contrived by men. Interesting. By ones who would cause them fate herself. They are the ones who created me. But they failed. I did not come out as intended. Fate would not be best. And men were cursed once again. If you proceed, Nashandra will come after you. Knowing that you will take the throne and link the fire. She covets the first flame and the great soul. Put Nishandra to rest. Yeah, I've actually encountered, like, I've actually gone through the, the doors beforehand multiple times. Like, not these ones, but, obviously, but the other ones, the... <sighs> Oh, I'm trying to remember where they are. Okay, so this is the Throne of Want. I'm just going to see if there's anything between me and here. And they, like, where the, the fog wall is. Because I would rather... I would much rather help someone first with this fight. And then get help myself. But I think I'm going to have the problem of my soul memory being too high. I mean, though I already did help someone today, but it just usually seems to be my soul memory. Like, I've gotten summoned into a new game plus already. So, I know my soul memory is higher than it should be. Yeah, okay. Well, let's effigy then. And then, I don't know, I guess I'll have to... I'll put down a sign again. And then just get rid of it. And look for other people's signs. I'll be right back. I'm going to use the washroom before I go balls deep into this nonsense. I have actually seen what's on the other side of this gate twice now. But in both times it was something different. And I thought that was kind of weird. Let's see if there's anyone that actually wants my help, not NPCs. I mean, NPCs are great. And I probably will end up using NPCs, just because I, if... I don't know what fight, like, I don't know the order, because once I helped someone and we fought Nishandra on the other side of that door, I thought. and Or maybe the, that door was, that door was gone and we went further and fought Nishandra. Um... But I know earlier today I helped someone and there was just two knights on the other side of that door. And fighting two enemies at once without a helper NPC is just a giant fucking headache. So I was going to see if there was anyone that wanted, you know, their humanity back or anything. Because that's like a nice thing to do. Before I, you know, summon people that don't actually exist. That's Bashful Ray over there. Ah, see, here's somebody. What kind of sun bro are you? Okay, I'm not seeing any more here, so let's go down. 
Sun bro, and he doesn't even fucking do praise the sun with me. Is he coming? I can't, like, I can't see behind me. This is a problem right now. All I know is, there's his health bar there on the left. I have no idea if you're behind me. I hope you are. I hadn't already done this fight, I might try it solo just to get a, a feel or a look at it, but knowing what is going to be on the other side of that gate, or at least what's possibly on the other side of that gate, I'm going to grab these summons. Oh god. Oh, now, now you do it. Now you do it. swap my fucking weapons. You know what's a bad time to do that? Right before fighting a boss for the first time. Come on, you guys, I do you understand how you're supposed to help me by like getting some threat off of me for a minute? Because that's really what I need right now. Oh, thank you. Christ. So I'm assuming I don't have to fight them every time. You have proven yourself to me. Ugh. Lady, you got ugly. You look like Nito. That would have been a massive clusterfuck doing that on my own. Many monarchs have come and gone. One drowned in poison, another was enchanting to flame. Still another slumbers in the realm of ice. 
Not one of them stood here. As you do now. What is going on? You, conqueror of adversities. Is this a weird big fire Don't thing? Answer. Yep, it is. Oh, good God. Another fight. Jesus Christ. Okay. I didn't realize this was yet another fight. No, 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 no! Wow. Wow, okay. I wonder at what point in that process we start from again. Yeah, we're going to be going for those again, I'll tell you that. Not losing that built bullshit. How to make me cry. That's what I was thinking. I just, like, I pretty sh I know that when I fought, um, what's-her-face, I didn't have to fight them again. Okay, Gloom, you're just freaking me. Gloom, I can't see! Dude, seriously, stop riding my dick! If, you, if you're that fast, go in front of me!
Damn it, I got cocky. I got fucking cocky. Let's see if I can get the Mung to come back again. Because that was actually really good. Like, that, that felt like a good party to have, so... Now, it would really help if I didn't keep skipping past my effigy. Take you. It was so close, like so close. Mr. Human again. And there's another one. You'll do. Oh, never mind. Oh, there's one. There's Gloom. Yeah, I know. I feel bad. Fulgrim was with us so much. I didn't know if he was going to get his thing back down or not, though. Poor Fulgrim. I feel bad. I feel bad. A posse is not back together. Instead, we got Eyelash. Or Eli Eliash. Eliash! You assholes can run in front of me if you want to. I am not risking falling off this stupid piece of shit. Although I have a very ridiculous running animation. <laughs> 